guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a March wrap up, which is basically all the books that I read in March and I talk a little bit about them, what I thought about them, the plot, and if I recommend them. So my rating is going to be in your right corner and the Goodreads rating is going to be in your left corner so you guys can compare. And the Goodreads rating is out of 5 stars. I read my rating just by how much I enjoyed the book. I read 12 bucks books this month, so this is going to be exciting. Let's just get started! So the first book that I read this month was um, The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier. I found out about this book through Booktube, and it's basically a retelling of 1001 Nights. So it's about this uh, prince who every night we marries a new bean, to say, then at the dawn um, he kills her. Main character, she volunteers to be his wife and to marry him, knowing that she's going to get killed the next day. She does this because her best friend was also his previous wife and she got killed, so she comes back for revenge and she wants to, like, kill him. But things go a little bit differently and yes, it's a love story, so I guess you kind of know what happens, but this was such a page turner, like I absolutely love this book. This cover is beautiful and I got the cover by default because I was actually ordering another cover but then I got this one and it's like a little gift within a gift because this cover is amazing so now I have to get the other cover. It's part of a duology and the second book is The Rose and the Dagger and I just ordered it yesterday so I was super excited. The next book I read is Wind Witch by Susan Denart. Um, the first book is called Truth Witch and it's part of the Witchland series, which are going to be four books. This actually came out in February, I think. So yeah, it's um, a recent release and it's basically about these two best friends called Isild and Sophie. They are kick ass. Isild is a thread witch and she can see how people connect and Sophie is a truth witch and she can tell the truth. They go on like this whole journey through the witch lands and in this book you kind of get to enter three different stories and you know all the characters from a previous book. It is a really really good book, like I enjoy it, but you have to be focused and I don't recommend like this kind of fantasy if you're new to fantasy because it is kind of difficult to read while you're reading it but it was really good and um, definitely as good as the first one so I'm definitely going to continue it with this series. Uh, next on my wrap up is Only the Good Spy Young by Ali Carter. This is part of like a spy series and this is the fourth book. I have to say I was very disappointed in this book so I might not even finish the series um, which is disappointing but hopefully I'll do it sometime. It's a children's book and it's basically about these girls who go to spy school and yeah, it's like a middle grade book, but I um, actually find it pretty good. But this one was kind of a disappointment. The next book I read was Cinder by Marissa Mayer. This book is part of the Lunar Chronicles, and there are four books, and there are four retellings of famous like princess stories. So this is a retelling of Cinderella. Instead, but instead, the main character is called Cinder, and she lives in this crazy society. It's basically like a dystopian or kind of something that could happen in the future because that's what it's kind of set out to be because they talk about cars as it was like existing in the past as well. Cinder, she is a, a cyborg, so she's half human, half robot kind of. It's super good. And there's also these lunars involved, and lunars, they can control bioelectricity, so basically what other people feel and see and do. There's this evil queen in here, the lunar queen, who wants to like take over the world and stuff, and it's really good. And I'm actually reading the third book right now. The next book that I read was Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. This is going to be a movie that's coming out in May, I think, and that's basically why I read it. Um, it's basically about this girl who is allergic to everything, and so she stayed in her house basically her whole life, and she doesn't know anything outside it, basically. And then this boy moves in next door, and she basically wants to get to know him, but she can't even go outside her house and it's a love story kind of but it's also about her and her discovering her limits and stuff and this book is so great because there's like the chapters are pretty short but then there's also like these drawings and like different things happening inside the book and like their dialogues through gmail and stuff I thought this good book was good but it's not as good as like 
what everyone has hyped it up to be because like it's okay and I liked it but it wasn't like amazing and I don't really feel like reading you know uh, Nicola Yoon's other books even though they're said to be better. The next book I read was Percy Jackson and the Olympians, the second book, The Sea of Monsters. This was a good book too. I liked it, but I didn't like it as much as the first book in the series. It's basically about half gods and it's a um, series I feel like everyone kind of has to read. It's by Rick Riordan and he's written like Magnus Chase and stuff. So I feel like this book is kind of like famous and I think everyone should read it and it's crazy adventure and it was fun but the first book was better. I bought the third book so I'm definitely going to continue with the series. The next book that I read is The Restaurant at the End of the Universe by Douglas Adams. First off, this cover, like I don't know, you can't really see it on the camera maybe but like first off the blue is shiny and then like the white part here is also kind of shiny and then it has like these blue pages and it's just, ah, uh, it's so beautiful and it's just amazing. Okay. So if there's any book in the world that I'd recommend to like other people, it would be this book or like this series, like The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It's this series, I forgot to say so, and this is the second book in the series. And they're just so good. Like I can't even explain how good they are. They're hilarious, they have like a stand, like a point of view on everything literally, and they kind of um, make fun of our whole society and the way we live, and it's just amazing. In the first book, the earth blows up, and only two like people survive, and they meet these other like aliens, kind of you can say, um, and they're just crazy, and they all have these like super funny personalities. The whole book is hilarious, like I laughed out loud the whole time. Just please read these books, like, ugh, I love them so much, and it's just ridiculous, they're absolutely ridiculous. Then the next book I read was Scarlet by Marissa Mayer, and this is the second book in the Lunar Chronicles. This is a retelling of Little Red Riding Hood, and so um, this story is kind of parallel to the Cinder story. So in this story you just get a new character, but you still get to follow Cinder throughout her journey. And they all kind of meet each other at some point, but you also get like a new character that comes into the story in every book. And so in this one it is Scarlet and I feel like this book's main theme is like anger because she meets this guy called Wolf and he is also pretty angry and she's pretty like they both have a hot temper kind of but it's a really good book too. Um, I like this one but the first one's better I think. The next book that I read is Everything I Never Told You by Celeste NG. I don't know. I don't know how to say that, ung? Um, not sure. I, this was actually part of a book club that, actually my mother's book club, I took part in it. And it's very interesting because it's about this ha Asian family kind of, or this mother, the mother's not Asian but the dad is, and it's situated in America. Their middle daughter, Lydia, dies, and they don't know why. Um, she died and they tried to deal with like her death. And basically it only has 12 chapters and the chapters are really long and every second chapter you get to go back in history and learn about their story and about Lydia and the family dynamics and how the parents don't even talk to each other about anything, they don't know their kids. It's just when it refers to everything I never told you, it's basically about the whole family and everyone who's in it. And it's just so um, heartbreaking, like when you're reading the book it literally feels like you're like carrying something super heavy on your chest because it's so it's so touching but it's also really difficult to read so I recommend this book but maybe you're gonna hate it maybe you're gonna love it um it's difficult to read but it's a very good book so I do recommend it the next book that I read is a debut novel novel actually by Alice Broadway and this book is called Ink. Um, I actually just picked this book up without knowing what it was about. Um, it's going to be more than one book and in the beginning I was a little unsure because the language is not amazing but the story like and the plot is really good. Um, it's basically about this kind of dystopian world where everyone gets tattoos for important things that happen in their life and everyone has to get a tattoo. The ones that don't get tattoos, they are basically a danger to society and they are marked forgotten. When you're marked forgotten, it means that you are not remembered as a person and no one is allowed to speak to about you after you die. And so when you do die, your skin gets saved in these ink books um, where your family and friends can basically look at a book, like your skin, 
and all the markings on your skin and so they can see your life story kind of in like a book and so the main character's dad just dies and she basically has to deal with it and then she discovers some things about society that she didn't know before. It is really good. Um, I highly recommend this book. This got published in like February so it's also pretty new. The next book that I read was The Thinking Woman's Guide to Real Magic by Emily Croy Barker. This is also a debut novel and it's about this woman who discovers this magical world by accident. And when I say woman, I mean woman because she's 29 years old. And it is an adult fantasy book and it's so clear because the words are so tiny, like they're absolutely tiny. And I had a little bit of a difficulty reading this book because it takes me about two minutes to read each page. Which means that by the end of this book I've spent like more than like 18 hours on this book. Which is crazy. It has like 500 pages. And at the end of it there's like, there's no point to the story. So I think I gave this book a two. But when I was done I felt kind of like empty. Like I kind of missed the characters and stuff. And it's written sort of in this medieval-ish magical world. Um, but in like a um, fairy tale kind of thing, like kind of similar to Alice in Wonderland, but in like an adult kind of way. So I guess it was kind of cool, and I bought this book because of the cover, because it's pretty pretty awesome. But I don't think I'll be really reading anything more by its author, and I don't recommend this book unless you're like super into fantasy and you want to be disappointed. I'm glad I read it. I feel like if I like we can read this, I can read anything. And it took me like ages to read, so I had a really good month and I could have read much more books this month. But because of this book, I got kind of stuck somewhere, so that sucks. The last book that I read is Sanctum by Madeline Rue. This is the second book in the Asylum trilogy, and um, it was kind of like a continuation of the story. I like this because it has like loads of um, pictures and stuff in it. And you kind of get to go to like a circus in this one. The title kind of ruins the story actually because you're not supposed to know about it. But I thought it was good. It was like very average. But I enjoyed reading it. And I did get the creeps a little bit. And I did finish it really quickly. So yeah, it was a good book. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I realized it let, it's like a little bit longer, but I just felt like I wanted to explain the books a little bit more this time. So I hope you guys all have a lovely day and a lovely reading month, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!